Alright guys, Trevor here. Welcome back to some more Trevor Tuesdays on Game Guardian Genesis today. We're going back to the zoo deck. Yes, I understand my first episode of Trevor Tuesdays was a zoo deck. But that deck, it's not good in this current meta. This deck is, during GVG, there's a lot, there's 120 new cards that you can add to the zoo deck. But this one is from TempoStorm.com. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this is Gara's zoo deck. Uh, for the pre-GVG meta. And I played it during this today and um, when GVG was released and it, w it did really well. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. I only had maybe one or two losses and that was because the dude had just the best combo in the world. Um, but it has some features that uh, will help you against a lot of big decks like Handlock and Ramp Druid and such of those things. Um, and even Paladin. So... Um, uh, let's get right into the deck here, if we go into my collection. Um, I just changed the... This is a previous episode, or a new episode soon, so... Uh, we'll go back into the zoo. And here we go, guys. This is the deck. And now you see, there are some expensive cards in here. And so, you might be wondering, Trevor, why the heck, man? This zoo is supposed to be cheap, easy to get, and like, un, you know, super 100% fine, good to go, but... I find it that this zoo deck is requiring some cards that, you know, that need to be in here. So, um, let's get into the deck list now, shall we? So, um, pre-GVG, this was zero mana Soulfire, but with Go Goblins vs. Gnomes releasing, um, they increased Soulfire to one mana, um, which still, the stats are the, still the same. They were really amazing before, they're still they're still really good now, it's just one extra cost man mana. Um, just to make sure that when you're playing Zoo, that um, you make sure that you're not, you know, playing on your minions and you have no mana left and you try playing Soulfire, you're like, oh crap, I don't have any more mana. And so, you know, don't screw yourself over, make sure you play a little bit slower and make sure that you have that one extra mi mana to uh, play this card. Um, Abuse of Sergeant is really good, like I described, with some certain combos that you can do um, with the Big Ape Hunter, which I'll talk about later. It's the, the ex most expensive card in this deck. Um, is that, say there is a 5, like, hmm, let's say there's a Ramp Druid or something, or even a Paladin. So let's say he, they play their legendary Tyrion Fordring, which is a 6-6 six, six with Taunt and all this other crap. So what you do, you put Abuse of Sergeant on it, and then it becomes an 8-6, but the big game hunter destroys the minion with any attack of seven or more. You can choose which one you want to kill. And so since it's an 8-6, you can kill the Tyrion with a three mana card. So four mana you can kill an 8-6, which is really insane, and you really don't have to you don't have to use any of your minions. Um, and also it's just a good card in general. Flame Imp, uh, it's always a good card. Uh, like like I've used it uh, in the past zoo deck, and so I've described it before. I don't need to really describe it again, but uh the Valkyries deal 3 damage to your hero. Um, it's a really good card, and it's 1 mana 3 2, so <laughs> better. what's better than that? Lepernome. That's a 1 mana 2 1. It's a really good card for its statistics, and uh, I've uh, described this before already. Undertaker, I think, is in my other zoo deck, I'm pretty sure, but this uh, card you can get in Nax Ramus if you do the, I believe, the military quarter, I'm pretty sure. So, um,. When you do the Undertake, when you get the Undertaker, um, you'll be able to do this deck. Um, I can't. I don't think you can craft it. No, you can't craft it. So, um, the stats are insane with all the Death Rattle minions. Let's count those up. We have the Leopard Gnome with the Haunted Creeper. We have the Egg. We have the Harvest Golem, and that's that's it. So, it's there's not as many as my last uh, Zoo deck showcase, but it's still a good card nonetheless, and you can get really good combos with it. Void Walker. It's a one mana one three. Um, it's only in this deck because you can combo it with like the Dark Iron Dwarf, the Fender of Argus, and the Abuse of Sergeant. Um, it's a really good card in general, and I believe it deserves to be in this deck. Uh, Dire Wolf Alpha. It's been in pretty much every Zoo deck, even the even the new GVG meta. The the Alpha is still making the cut into all the Zoo decks that I've seen online, and so um, this card is just really good with its stats. And then the battle or the battle cry or whatever you can call that. Um, is able to combo with a, a lot of minions in this deck. Haunted Creeper, I've described this before. It combos with the Undertaker. It's, the stats are insane. You can consider this as a 2-mana 1-4 with the Death Rattle. Um, 
And it's a really good silence target, so if you don't want, like, say, your knife juggler or egg to be silenced, you can play this and then it'll silence it. And, you know, it won't be the best of cards then, but it's a good silence target, so you can play these without any worry. Um, Iron Beak Owl. These, this is one of the cards that needed to be in here um, with the current meta. Met metal? <laughs> meta. Um, where there are really huge cards that you need to silence to get past. So I played a Handlock today where he played a Twilight Drake. Um, that became a 4-8, and so um, usually Twilight Drakes are 4-1s, and so you can uh, play your Iron Beak Owl, silence it, and you can kill it with like one of the spiders or something that uh, is off this death rattle. So it's really, really good in that case. Um, other otherwise, the stats are okay, um, but that's why it's in this deck, and that's why there's only one of them. Um, Knife Juggler, um, it's in every zoo deck that I've seen. It's been making the cut for GVG, um, this uh, meta... And it's just a really good card in general. The stats are really good because it's a 2-mana 3-2. And the um, other thing, whatever, I can't remember. That's, that's called the Battle Cry. I'll call it the Battle Cry for now. <laughs> the Battle Cry is really good. Uh, the Nubrian Egg, the Death Rattle is insane with the 4-4 four, four Nubrian. This was in my last um, Zoo Deck Showcase. It's a 2-mana 0-2. You might be thinking, well, it's a 0-2. It has no attack, but you can use it with the Abusive Sergeant, the Defender of Argus, and the Dark Iron Dwarf to get some uh, nice combos out of it. Uh, the Big Game Hunter. This is the next, or this is the final card that needs to be in this deck with the meta. Um, like I described, this thing can do some insane combos, and also, just by itself, it can be really good. Um, it's expensive. It costs 400 dust to craft, I know, but um, it's worth it in the end. That's why there's only one in here. Harvest Golem. It combos with the Undertaker with the Death Rattle. It's a 3-mana 2-3. Um, it's really good. It's also a mech now, so even if you wanted to, like... Uh, you wanted to combo it with some of the new mech cards and replace some, say, with, like, you can replace the Flame Imp with some other mech cards, um, like oh, the Cogmaster, and you play this mech, and, it, you know, you, you're in pretty good shape. Um, the Dark Iron Dwarf, like I described, is very good already, um, and I, I really enjoy it in this deck. It's still making the cut, like I've mentioned before, in all the new GVG meta um, decks for Zoo, and the stats are insane, the Battle Cry is insane. Death, Defender of Argus, always making the cut in every zoo deck. Um, the stats are terrible, <laughs> I'll give you that, but the battle cry is really good because you can put it in between two minions and give it plus one, plus one each. The Doom Guards is a necess necessity, like I described in my last zoo deck. It's always going to be in any zoo that you see. And finally, Lotheb. Um, this, oh, let me just make sure. So you needed one IRB Gowl, one Big Game Hunter, and one Lotheb. Now, Miracle Road kind of fell out, well, it did fall out, it did fall out of practice and use in the meta at all. It's, I hardly ever, 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 ever even see it anymore um, to where that Lotheb isn't very good. But if you play it on, like, say, turn 5 is a 5-5, five, five, and they try playing a spell, say you're facing a Druid and you have a really weak board, you can play Lotheb, and then they can't swipe your board anymore. So um, it's really good in that case, and also it's a, the stats are all right. Um, but... It's also earned via the Plague Quarter in Naxxramas, so if you haven't had that, it's a really good card to get then. And uh, that's pretty much the deck list. Now let's go showing this deck in action. Alright guys, welcome to the deck showcase game. And uh, let's look at this hand. The Flame Up's really good, Haunted Creeper's really good, and Doom Guard I'm going to trash. Um, that's an easy, simple um, sleight of hand. Here we go. It's an against another Warlock. Let's play Flame Imp for sure. Turn one. And we'll see what he does. Is he Handlock? Is he Zoo? Let's find out. He is Zoo. What is that? Oh, no, he's not. That is not Zoo. That is not a Zoo card. <laughs> Definitely not a Zoo card. Uh, let's see. Will he... Oh. Let me describe why I need to describe my plays. So I played the Knife Juggler here only because, um, oh joy. Hmm. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO! SpaghettiOs, uh-oh. Definitely doing this. Doing that, and hitting his face again. So it's Handlock. So if this deck can beat Handlock, it's amazing. Like I described in the deck showcase, it's a really good deck. Um, like I said, I beat Handlock before. Don't know why he played that there. 
true, probably because I am our, I'm a zoo and he expects me not to have any big cards, so makes sense. And I did that to get cleared off that, so I wouldn't, you know, I would get a pretty good board going. Um, he'll probably tap and do something. Oh, Twilight Drake, that's not a very good Drake, isn't it now? Come on. Really, bud, you can do better. All right, and we'll just go like that, kill it off, just so he can't taunt it up, and we'll play our Voidwalker too. And placement is also very important when you play Zoo. Um, that's why I place this on the left, so if I draw an Argus next turn, I can just Argus on them both here, and then it'll become a 2-4 and a 1-3, and then I can kill anything with it. There's another Drake, another 4-5, that's a Mortal Coil, so we can draw more cards. Okay, not very good, but okay. Um, let's tap here. Can't combo the big game hunter here. So I will just go face and do nothing. Why does Lothep have to cost five? It couldn't cost four or something. I mean, come on now. Because <laughs> then I would have been able to play it and he would have been screwed. Kind of, not really, maybe, probably not. But yeah, now that's going to get taunted probably. And we're going to be in trouble, but I think, um, I think we'll be okay. I think. I think, I think, I think we'll be okay. We probably are not going to be okay. Are we okay? Wow, we're okay. How? <laughs> okay. We are okay. I keep saying okay a lot. Man, oh man. Mm, 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 that's not it. That is not it. What's up? Go with the Lothab, because these two things can't attack unless he has another silence, of course. Um, the spells probably didn't do much there, but um, I'm expecting a uh, Mountain Giant here, probably. Maybe some form of Soul Fire. Molten Giant he can't do. He's going to face. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. That's it, huh? That's it. That's all. We're done here. Cool. Um... Wow, I can't do anything. Wow, 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 wow. I really need to kill this thing off, though. Um. Hmm. Man, we can't do anything. Let's tap. There's a soul fire, finally. Goodness gracious. And, yep, we'll go here. With the soul fire there. Okay, got rid of the wolf, that's fine. And we'll go with a taunt there. Alright, you heard me clap there. We're on 15 health, he's on 18. He's on plenty of health. He could play one Molten Giant here. Mountain Giant, oh that's amazing. That is very good. Taunt him up. Oh, that's Soul Fire, okay. Siphon Soul is gone, yay, good. Oh, double Soul Fire, holy crap. Second Siphon Soul is gone. Wow, wow, wow. Here comes where the big game hunter is insane. Bam bam, bye bye, Molten Giant. Alright, we'll tap here. Good. And we'll go with the combos and insane plays. Alright. Now I think we have this game in the bag. I'm pretty sure we have this game in the bag. He hasn't played any taunts yet. So we could still Molten Giant and we'll be in trouble. Um, I don't think he can Mountain Giant again because he only has two other cards in there. Um... He's in a pretty bad spot if he doesn't have Hellfire. If he has Hellfire, he pretty much wins the game, because I have no board, and... Yeah. Alright. Come on, pray for no Hellfire! Whoa, oh, we got the Mountain Giant. Molten Giant, my bad. <laughs> I can sock today. Ooh. Oh! Oh! What is it? Silence! Oh! Is that it? Nope, that's not it. He doesn't have a taunt, because he didn't place him right. Do we win? Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yes! We win! GG! GGG! GGG! Game Guardians Genesis. Thank you for watching this amazing zoo deck. It beats Handlock. Zoo hardly beats Handlock. This thing beat Handlock. And it's because of that BGH and those silences. I didn't draw the owl until later, but that doesn't matter. We won anyway. Thank you for watching. The deck list will be in the description. I'm Trevor. I'm Trevor. This is Trevor Tuesdays. I'll see you later.